With me finishing Sonic Adventure, I gotta say, this game really took me in a roller coaster of emotions. Happiness, sadness, anger, fear, and most of all, pure frustration. Despite all that, I actually enjoyed the game. It means a lot coming from me who is not a big Sonic fan, but I could see why this game was a console seller at the time. My friend Shatara could go on and on about the history of this game. Matter of fact, it's all because of him that I got the chance to experience something that I couldn't when I was a child. I mean, yeah, there were Pokemon, Crash Bandicoot, Road Rash, and many more. I started craving this console about two years ago when I started to get more invested into Power Stone. Yeah, I could have gotten it on PSP, but I wanted a sense of originality that my search stopped at Sega Dreamcast. But that's when I stumbled upon Sonic Adventure. Now when I first laid eyes on this game, I was a bit skeptical about it, since my interest was mostly on Power Stone. I didn't really give it a chance. However, Shatara was constantly in my ear telling me that I absolutely needed to try it. For the last time, Shatara, I do not want to play Sonic Adventure. I just don't think it's a good game. Come on, man. It's a great game. How about this? I'll give you a dollar. And experience it, I did. Now, I'm proud to say that this game sucks. Alright, the game is okay. I'll say that it's slightly above average. If you look at it from a modern standpoint, it didn't age well at all. Graphically, it's tolerable. Animations are god-awful. Story really needed to be worked on. But, overall, the colors blended nice, the gameplay was decent, and it has an excellent soundtrack. I mean, listen to Station Square or Windy Valley. The game consists of six storylines of six different characters. Sonic, Knuckles, Tails, Amy, Big the Cat, and Gamma, with each one of them telling their own story. If I were to rate them from bad to good, Amy would be number one on that list. And I know that may surprise some fans due to them stating that Big the Cat is the worst part of the game. But I actually like playing as Big the Cat for many reasons. I mean, of course, yeah, I had a hard time at first, but I started to enjoy myself, and turns out, playing as Big the Cat was relaxing and easy. But Amy, <laughs> that was a total chore. I couldn't wait until I beat her story and never have to play as her ever again. Her section of the game was terrible. The fact that I enjoy Big the Cat more than Amy is pretty shocking. Then comes Knuckles. I find his search for the pieces of the Master Emerald a bit tedious. <laughs> I mean, a quest to complete the Emerald? I'll pass. Running around just to find those pieces was annoying. But don't get me started on Sonic Adventure 2. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Aquatic Minds. But I'll get to you on another video. However, despite the annoyance, I didn't really have a hard time. His story wasn't that bad. It was, quote, tolerable. In fact, I did like punching shit in the game. Wait a minute. That wasn't there before. Huh. Oh. Fun fact. Did you know that Knuckles was supposed to have an uppercut move, but was later removed in the final version of the game? I wonder why. I strongly believe if Sega would have kept that in, playing as Knuckles would have been so much better. If I would be honest, it would have been so much better than Tails. Even though I have no problem with him. It's just playing catch up. I mean, really? Tails out of all people? I expected a lot more, and that's all I'm going to say about Tails. Before I continue, let me state this. 
This video is strongly based on my opinion. So don't be getting butt hurt for what I'm about to say. Okay? Okay? Okay. Next comes Sonic. Now don't be surprised, even though I didn't get any footage, there is a reason why Sonic comes forth. Playing as him was great at first. My experience with him started to go away the closer I got to the end. Instead of happiness and relief, it was more anger and frustration. I cannot express enough how many times I died to Dr. Eggman and all I could hear is, Get a load of this! 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 This fight literally killed me emotionally. The moment I became victorious, all my emotions came pouring out. Believe it or not, I was actually going to end my entire playthrough right then and there. But, I picked up my controller and continued. <sighs> oh, some of you might think I'm just shitting all over this game. But, I actually enjoyed it more than I thought I would. Playing as Big the Cat helped out a lot. Despite the stupid frog not freaking a fucking bank. Like, I literally wanted to jump into the game and shove the hook down its throat. Mm, you're fucking good. And the one level that made me feel like that was Ice Cap. I'm not even hungry anymore. He is stuck on the wall? His ass is stuck on the wall. They didn't like put the bait in front of him and try yanking him out. Hey, hey, want this? He wants it. Bro, he, he looking okay, at I'm it. I'm getting him out, I'm getting him out. Nope, he is still stuck there. Soon after that, we realized that if you hold down on the analog and press A, you will automatically hook Froggy when he bites. Finding this out made me enjoy it a lot more. So for anyone who are having a bad time, just do that little mechanic and you'll be golden. Last, but definitely not least, Gamma. I had a blast, literally. Even though it's on the Dreamcast, I could safely say I had a lot of fun. His levels are like time attack games. You have to kill enemies to rack up time to deplete the level before time runs out. There was a moment where I completed a level with one second remaining. <sighs> My heart was pumping as I hurried to find an enemy to kill. Plus, I had to fight a boss too. That right there, the sense of rush is what I like in the game. Wait, did I just beat him? Oh my god, did I just beat him? Only one second left? Oh my god. Did I just beat him with only one second left? <laughs> to claim victory with barely a second left, now that's what I'm talking about. And yes, I do think the ending for Gamma was sad. He deserved a happy ending. But if you would have played it, you understand why it was sad. Oh, so far many of you may think that I'm going to give this game a bad score. Due to all the problems that I have with the game, I'm sorry to tell you that is not the case. It was an experience that I will never forget. From beating my pillow to nearly pouring one out for Gamma. Playing this game on such an innovative console made me realize how much I miss out on wonderful games like these. Which is why I want to collect these games and consoles so that I can experience something that I couldn't when I was a child. With all that being said, I give Sonic a solid 6 out of 10, and that's exactly what it deserves in my book. Some may agree, others would disagree, but at the end of the day, it's all up to us gamers to decide, and that's why I decided on a 6 out of 10. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. It was a long time in the making. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button subscribe and share and as always 
I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.